Bears and the Buffalo Bills. This, and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. It's our field. It's our field. Hey, it's our house. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creep. Now a handoff here to his running back. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Allen. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. He's got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. They'll run on first down. Taylor. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Brings up second and four at the Panthers' 28 yard line. Mike. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now they try the right side here. And down inside the 15 he goes. 15 yards that time. They had a Buffalo first. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Round 80. Flight 59. And we're pretty quiet, D. We're pretty quiet. <laughs> Operating from the red zone now. Allen. And caught by Thomas. Touchdown, Buffalo! Michael Thomas, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point right down the middle, and that'll make this a six-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. What? You ready? Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Yes, well, well. Well, check, check, what we got, what we got, what we got. 
On first and ten, it's Wilson. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And he's taken down to the Panther first down. This is the old adage, partner. Don't judge the book by its cover, because this guy, he takes the mantra that he'll go down with a brisk gust of wind and sets it on its head. Great effort there to break a tackle and come up with a nice game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for Isaiah McKenzie that time, but it's going to be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Double count right here, double count. Play action, it's Wilson. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. Give him 15 there. The Panthers have a first down. First down, Panthers. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. He's coming, double up. Hey, Now Wilson. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll try the left side, Benjamin. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. There's Wilson to throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. 
That catch, number 750 of his NFL career, and it puts him even with not just one, but two Hall of Famers, Michael Irvin and Charlie Joyner. So some pretty good company at 750. Now you talk about the playmaker, Michael Irvin, and the guy who just made plays, Charlie Joyner. And that's what we're seeing here. Similar style in terms of being dependable, being open, and turning it into plays that you remember. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, that one was over before it could get rolling. How about the D just knifing into the backfield and shutting that one down? Second and 11 now. Allen throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Allen going to come to the line here, first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. From midfield, here's Allen. The pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, he gets it to Thomas. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37 yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second and 12 at the 39-yard line. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now a handoff looking right. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. Hey, tight, tight, tight. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. When I see a play like that, I come. Show him that you're 
as they move closer, it's second and goal. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big bats carrying the football bruisers trying to pound the end instead? Look at the little more of a scat-back type that he's trying to make it happen. Now over the elusive slippery guy, couldn't get in there though. On second down now, Benjamin, well he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. Quick touchdown number seven on the year. And they're now on the board here in the first half. That's a point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Well, Fairbairn looking for the first touchdown of the season. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Check, crunch, crunch, crunch. And here's Allen throwing again. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Allen. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Allen now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now, three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Yeah, he's going to get this deep on the Carolina side of the field. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. 
Check 99! Check 99! Alert! 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 We're Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Brings up second and goal at the seven yard line. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point splits the uprights, and we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is taken at the three. At the 21 yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Second and nine at the 22-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Play action. Now Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too short. Strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Third down and nine yards to go. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the shotgun, Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. To return is Taylor. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10.
Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Here's Allen on first and 10. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. complete 12 yards that time and a Bills first down my next teammate used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what you really can't hide what you're doing and I think that right there he knew right away where the blitz was coming from where his primary guy was going to be and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game I was just going to ask you that wasn't the primary target and he's so good at that isn't he I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Second and 12, Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. Throwing his Allen on third. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 20-yard line. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And the Bills have come back to regain the lead. Well, the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, and they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. At their own 16 yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? Yeah, 
facing a third and seven following the incompletion of second down. Good point. And the decision to just kick the extra point runs up. 
Let's grind. And it's tight games after cutting last time. See if they can get something going on this grind. Okay, head to the field now. For the game, this close. You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Instead, it falls down incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. of the third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Watch the whip. No, no, no. Go 14. I got him. I got him. Wilson. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. This game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides. So I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's anytime right. we have a defensive right. battle. But that, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play. And the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. On first down, Muhammad. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Give that sack to Harrison Phillips, the big man. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And this is caught, he hits more. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play.
Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Throwing on second and 14. Wilson, they'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Third down, Wilson. Jones has it. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. They'll run on first down. Benjamin. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. On second down, Muhammad. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got his target. That's more. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. 
Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Quick, Offensive quick, lines quick. had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And with a little more... Than now, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got a two-minute warning to come up? Or are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. To throw is Allen. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. Now Allen. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jalen Ramsey right there in coverage to knock it away. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the means. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had because those haven't been great, but they get a few more quality ones like that. That could finish things off for them. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Hey, Delta! 
Check Mike 27. Check Mike 27. Here we go. From midfield, here's Allen. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. This is caught inside the 15. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even the game. How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. This is taken at the three. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. First throw in overtime now for Wilson. Oh, that's a screen pass. That's complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. On first down, Muhammad. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. Early down steps to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Hey, zero, zero, zero. Cook right, cook right. On second and nine, Wilson will throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. 28 yards the game there on the Let's catch go. and run. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Now a give right side, Muhammad. Man, he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, they had that one snipped up. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. It's third and four. Big play here, trying to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. On third down, Muhammad. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Overtime with less than two minutes to play, and we are still all tied. So a big move here, playing to win in overtime. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Four down, four down. Four down. Four down. 
They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. Completes it to Samuel. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A gigantic call there in overtime, but it pays off with a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. And he'll give it here to his running back. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Carolina. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, 